We all saw Pogba, Rashford, Martial, Greenwood, Fernandes in the starting eleven, and we all got excited. And we should have done, because United there, 3-0 winners, comfortable winners against Sheffield United. And it was exhibition football at one point, but it was a game where United totally, totally dominated. Martial getting the first hatch that we've seen in the Premier League since Robin Van Persie seven years ago. And it was a sexy hat-trick as well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on the bench will be sitting there rubbing his hands together at seeing a centre-forward who's actually in the centre-forward positions. A wonderful cross from Marcus Rashford. Great positioning. It wasn't an easy finish by Martial. 1-0 United. Wan-Bissaka deserves credit for the improvements that have happened to his attacking game. He swung it in. Martial, right place, right time. Composed finish to make it two. And that third goal... Lovely work from Fernandez, lovely work from Rashford, and a chipped finish from Anthony Martial. Ice cool. And I, I, he deserves all the credit. He's man of the match. But you could sit here and I think talk for a couple of minutes about plenty of players in that game. And you've got to be excited by that. Paul Pogba sitting in a much deeper position. I got 9 out of 11 right on my predicted start 11, but Matic played there. All credit to Matic, he was fantastic. And it was Lindelof who kept his spot, and Sheffield United didn't really test us too often, so I'm not sure whether we could say too much about that. But Pogba in a deeper role, he created more chances. I'm not sure anybody had more passes into the final third than him. He was the architect from deep, and he was happy to let Fernandez sit further forward and take more of a, maybe a central role in the final part of the attacking Set up of United, but Pogba was the man making it tick from behind. Matic was winning the ball and doing his role, and I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was proven correct to play him there instead of Scott McTominay. I think his experience in that role complemented Pogba well, complemented Fernandez well, and that three, maybe we can see that more often this season. But United there, 2 0, we got the early goal, and I wanted us to go after it and really go at them. And maybe we didn't go at it as much as I wanted to, but what is it, 30 odd degrees there in England today? It's understandably pretty grey in Ireland because it always is. But we went at it and as the game progressed, I can't really begrudge United being 2 0 up in the second game back after a three month break and taking the foot off the gas. That's what we did. If we didn't lose the ball, we weren't going to lose the game. We had to make, let Sheffield come to us. But then the moment happened where it went through and Martial did not miss. And as I said, first Premier League hat-trick in seven years. And you saw how much it meant to Martial. But for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he was slated by so many people for letting Alexis Sanchez go, for selling Romelu Lukaku and not bringing a replacement in. And when the, the injury to Rashford happened, it was sort of like, told you so. But Martial and Rashford are both on for having their best seasons in a United shirt. And I think a lot of that is down to Solskjaer and the work that they are doing on the training ground. They're becoming better strikers. They're becoming better attackers under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And nobody can say that that is wrong because it's just the truth. But seeing Pogba play deeper there, I don't expect he'll be playing there all season long alongside Fernandes. I think eventually it will switch to war of uh, Matic sitting on his own as a defensive midfielder with Paul Pogba and Fernandes playing alongside each other rather than Pogba playing deeper. But it worked today. Pogba seemed to be happy to orchestrate the game for his teammates. It was a very much a team performance from Pogba. And he doesn't need to get goals and he doesn't need to get assists to prove how good a player he is. And I, he must have gone into that dressing room after the game or wherever they're going after the game and slapping Martial upside the head for stealing that when he slid the ball through a defender's legs, skipped past two and was about to shoot and Martial stole it to try and score his hat-trick and fluffed his lines. But United there, Look, it was Sheffield United without Dean Henderson, who's been probably their player of the year, without Egan, who got a red card, I think. I can't remember who else is injured. O'Connell. And Sheffield United have built their success this season on their defensive solidity. And they didn't have the players for that today, so it was always going to be advantage United. But we took advantage of it, and we held it. David De Gea coming in really didn't have anything to do, so I can't say that's a performance that's going to really change his confidence or change the opinion of many of you if you're having doubts about De Gea. But United are 14 unbeaten. I think we've got in that time, we might have like something crazy, like 11 clean sheets. We've got three goals today. We've got our first Premier League hat-trick since 2013.
We've got Paul Pogba there pulling strings from deep. We've got Fernandes pulling strings a little bit further up. You can see this team building together. Greenwood there, I certainly think, offers more in the attacking sense than Dan James does. He's a little bit too... He's not confident enough, I don't think, in his own ability to really beat his man. He should just be knocking it past his man and going for it. But he doesn't, but we'll work on that. But Greenwood should be starting there, I think, more often than not. I think Rashford will get better as he gets back into football. I think he's probably going to be a little bit pissed off because Martial scored a hat-trick, but he should be. That's what competitive players are pissed off. If they're watching one of their teammates do what they know they can do themselves. But United there today, 3-0 winners, comfortable, never out of second gear, total dominance, Martial man of the match, Paul Pogba, fantastic, clean sheet, Happy days. You have to be happy with that performance. And I think it's Norwich next in the FA Cup at the weekend. Let me know what you think about that. Drop a like on the video. United winning 3-0 and seeing the United players score a hat-trick. Happy days. Well done to Anthony Martial for that. And well done, I think, to Paul Pogba as well for proving he's, he doesn't just need goals and assists to really influence the game. And that's one thing that everybody, and especially Graham Souness, really needs to remember.